Pope Francis spends his first full day in the U.S. today. His agenda is packed with a stop at the White House today and a meeting with Congress tomorrow. Father Scott Steinkirchner, also known as just Father Scott, is a professor of religious studies at Edgewood College. Thanks for joining us, Father Scott. My Appreciate pleasure. Thank it. You. All right, so this is a super exciting time for Catholics in the United States. This is his first visit here. What do you anticipate could happen? It is, well, that'll be the interesting thing. I mean, people are excited. And if you saw him get off the plane last night, it was silent, silent, silence. As soon as he stepped through that door, the crowds went crazy. Mm -hmm. And so people really love this Pope. But the question is, what is he gonna say? Because not everybody loves everything he says though he has the charisma to carry it off anyway. Mm -hmm. So what will he say? Mm -hmm. What will he say to Congress? That'll be very interesting. What are some issues that you think that he'll tackle while he's here? Well, certainly just by looking at the people that he's visiting with, the poor and caring for the poor. He's going to a, a prison in Philadelphia. He's visiting homeless people in Washington, D.C. Uh, are we doing enough to care for the poor? He will hit that. But will he hit things like the war in Syria? Will he hit things like abortion? Will he hit things like gay marriage? Interesting. He could, or he could focus differently. You know, we've had uh, the past three popes, they've been different. Um, we were talking in a commercial break, you know, I had covered Pope John Paul II's uh, visit when he came to St. Louis in 1999. Okay. And it was electrifying. Yeah. It really was. And you said you called him a rock star, and he truly was a rock star. Um, and he, you know, he was seemed really focused on the youth. Um, Pope Benedict, we talked about poor and the disabled. Such a humbling, humbling person um, that he is. Do you think that he's kind of up to that rock star status <laughs> in his own way, even though he doesn't like all of that, you know, yeah, attention? We, we don't need to compare them. Right. But I would say one could, and one could say that Francis could be even more beloved. Maybe John Paul II was more engaging on television, mm -hmm. but Francis is just so beloved. When, when the motorcade stops and he walks up and hugs a disabled person or just says, well, thank you for coming. I'm so glad to meet you. And he's genuine about it. People just, they see that, they love that. Mm -hmm. They respond to that. Obviously, this is something big for a lot of Catholics in the U.S. What do you think it'll mean for people who aren't Catholics as well? Well, I think he still, he has a voice that resonates as true. And that is so missing often from politics today and from a lot of our discourse. He says things that strike people in the heart as that's really true. And it reminds them of where their values really lie and challenges, I think, everybody to live a little better. And that's... Whatever he says, that's really the bottom line of what he wants to do here in the United States, to really strike a chord with people to say, mm -hmm. you know what's right in your heart. Let's do that thing that's right. Mm -hmm. You don't need to subscribe to any religion for that. Just yeah. mm -hmm. live the best that you can. Exactly. All right. Father Scott from Edgewood College, thank you so very much once again for coming in. Appreciate My it. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.